This model needs to have all of its 12 slots filled with songs before it can start. I wonder what was the logic behind that decision. Jukebox. Uh! Add songs by clicking the titles on the left. You can remove them by right clicking the title or swap two songs by clicking on both. There's a lot of songs already unlocked. Sound signs in this game is already like really good. Yeah, that one sounds good. I mean, we already heard these ones. Let's see on some others. Mm hmm. Oh yeah. That seems like straight off cave oh out of cave style. Mm. Mm. All these songs are great it, it is which is remarkable and so on, but it, I'm trying to pick some chill musics. Fuck you, let's just pick some good music. And let's just fill the rest. Let's not spend too much time here. Ready! Time to mix drinks and change lives. And then now I'm out of drinks. I mean, what? Hey you, get me a beer! Oh sure, right on... What the fuck? <laughs> sure, I became Russian for a second after staring at your face. He wants a beer. Looks like quite a big guy though. Beer is one other hide, two bronze wax right? All mix traditionally brew beer has become a luxury, but this one is pretty close to the real deal. Bubbly, classic, vintage. Other hide, two, one, two, four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it was said before that I can add the same ingredients twice to make it a bigger one, right? So since that guy is a big guy, I can do this. Yes. Serve. Here you go. Yeah, this one's good. Pretty good, in fact. Nice job. Um, thanks, I guess. Ah, fuck. I don't even know the voice of this guy anymore. I think I, I was confusing with the Gil guy. Ah, fuck. Let's just give normal voice. You're looking for a meeting close by. This, this hellhole could certainly use a presence like mine. Although, to be fair, work has taken me towards hellholes. Like New Jersey the third. Huh. What kind of work do you do, Mr... You're talking to Donovan D. Dawson. Call me Triple D. <laughs> Chief Editor and Owner of the Augmented Eye. Nothing gets published there without my blessings. Hmm, today started with quite an interesting fellow, it seems. So you're the one to blame for the barrage of daily articles on Alice, Ra on Alice Rabbit, then. Hey, people love those articles, they love reading about the urban legend. Can you blame them? The idea of some wildcard hacker working for their own goals and nobody else's. That's the kind of corny shit that brings the clicks for all kinds of people. And clicks bring money. Money brings nice stuff. 
Stuff like cars and houses and plastic surgery for the missus and her kids. Well, I'm not complaining about the fact you write about the hacker, just that you write about them every single day. Some of it isn't even news, just speculation or copycats. Can't read a newspaper I can't read the newspaper's daily feed without running into at least one article about Alice Rabbit. Well, first of all, I don't write about it. My interns do. The poor bastards think it will help make them full-time employees. I'm just capitalizing on this topic where it is popular. And second, your type one article about supposed hacker. But not all the daily stories about murders and other horrors. Eh, uh, well, I will filter out that section. I don't want to start my day scared and bitter. I have enough pressure and problems as is. Don't need to add glitch cities, lovely citizens to the list. You are smarter than you look, kid. But if more people were like you, I'd go bankrupt. I'd blah, blah, I'd go bankrupt for the lack of traffic. Still, maybe my job would be easier. How so? People get the sense. The sense. See, I was all playing the character ahead of time. I have a gift, alright? <laughs> People get bored of a certain kind of news after seeing it repeatedly. When I started in this job, it only took the news of some elderly woman being killed to guarantee clicks. Now you did an elderly woman carry a sick baby boy getting hit by a truck. Death's not enough, they need a full sob story behind it. That's why I like those urban legends, they're easier to write about, and you can make up any shit you want. Spend them while they're hot, and even people like you, people who avoid the murder stories, will see them. That brings money, and like I said, money is good. Huh, <laughs> guess has a point, can deny that. What about the opinion columns? Aren't those a good source of traffic too? Oh, I hate those brats. They just write about how they are better than everyone else. They might also write about how everyone that likes a certain something should be sodomized. The worst part about that is they know how far clicks come from them, so they get all diva like on my ass. Eh, I think you're being too harsh. What about... No, wait. I was thinking of another newspaper. Yeah, the columnists of yours papers are annoying. <laughs> See? They keep the restaurant pretty column. Um, uh... Ah, shit. Forgot that brat's name. Restaurant? I believe that's... That kid. Uh, I couldn't care less about his name. Anyway, his column is the least visitor of the bunch. He gets less hits than the obituaries. However, he still insists that I keep paying for his adventures to outrageous restaurants. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have any problem with that if he actually wrote about half the place he visits. How so? He rarely writes about the place the newspaper sends him to. I've even heard he tries to get free meals by proclaiming that he's a food critic. Poor bastard only gets laughed at when he says that. Hmm. I do remember some guy coming here asking for free drinks and saying he was a critic or whatever. He looked like a fat child with a really small face. No. Wasn't this one then. Anyway, all this talk made it thirsty. Try to give me a beer this time, please. Try to give me a beer this time, please. You seem to be implying that you didn't take a beer. Call me right up. Beer again, this man likes his beer. They come cheaper in bulk at the store, though. I wonder if there is some sort of advantage to not seeing what the recipe is, to just memorizing. Mm. One, two, one, two, four. One, two, one, two, and four. Let's do the same thing again. One, two, one, two, four. Mix and stop. Here. Ah, it's the big things that make life worthwhile. What about big troubles? Did I stutter, kid? Right. So tell me, do you see many celebrities in this hellhole? Please stop referring to this place as a hellhole. If a place like me if a place smells like soap and dog piss, I'm within my constitutional rights to call it a hellhole. 
I'm doing my best here, thank you very much. <laughs> the fuck? Who was that? Nobody important. Hey, I heard that. Don't be offended by what I said, kid. I'm still the beauty, not you. You can think of it as a small hole in hell, rather than a hellish hole, if you like. Charming. So, celebrities. Not really. At least not that I know of. Why? Well, to begin with, you have a serious VIP as a client, but I don't see you losing your shit. You're not making me feel special, honey. And second, because I'm always up for gossip regarding famous people. Especially the red carpet kind of famous. Those folks people pretend to love but actually want to see fall from grace. Pretend to love? Fall from grace? Why do you think that gossip about famous people always sells? People pretend that they love celebs, but what they really want is to see their idols torn down to their level. To want to see them suffer, to get their comeuppance for daring to be so much more successful than them. Ah, I think gossip is just something everyone enjoys but nobody wants to admit to enjoying. You thought wrong, but even if you were right, it wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. They want to escape their lives by leaving somebody else's. Sadly, I failed to see the appeal in that whole thing. What do I care if this guy I saw in some random movie was wearing socks with sandals or if they are dating God who knows who? Granted, socks with sandals is practically a public indecency, but still. Oh please, as a bartender I bet you have a strong voyeuristic streak. Your kind always loves to hear that stuff. Just like hairdressers, this sounds hypocritical. This sounds hypocritical coming from you. Even if that's the case, I don't sensationalize what people do. I don't make it more than that person you know from TV acts like a human. Human. But Sensationalize is the key word here. Just the other day I saw this committee judge bitching over what some girl was wearing to the store. Eh, no matter what you say, these people don't exist so literally in the public. But this probably exists because they are the ones constantly cultivating the idea that they are perfect and untouchable. Going to exotic locales, dressing in elegant ways, indulging in every luxury they can think of. All that just leaves the public craving for those little moments when they make a mistake and fall to their level. Can't say that's a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants to see their humor. Hey, tattoo that plays the nice guy is indeed a really nice guy. To be fair, the gossip articles don't help, sensationalizing everything. It feels like they're instigating a behavior that shouldn't even be acknowledged in the first place. You like your big words, eh, Brad? You do too. Well, you can, t you can play that game of... Uh... Hmm? Um... Hey, you are a bartender, right? No, I'm a lab rat hellbent on world conquest. Sarkas, bleh, sarcas waits my time, homie, and your energy, refrain from using it. Anyway, I just realized that a bartender like you must have heard quite a few stories in her career. Talk about changing topics, huh? Maybe. Why? Wouldn't you like a column talking about those? I bet they would sell quite well. Hmm. It would be like that priest who published confessional stories and then got excommunicated and lynched. People usually tell me all this stuff because they know I'm just a simple bartender. A personal stranger of sorts. We could have you ghostwriting half our stuff. Blue. We could have you ghostwriting. How our stuff does that? They do? I don't really think Lana Smith is just one person, do you? Figures. Anyway, eventually the people from the stories would know it's them and blame me. Not only would that hurt us as a business, it would hurt me. I really like hearing clients rant about their lives. Oh, and it would hurt the clients too, I guess. Well, if you ever retire, that offer is waiting for you. Yeah, I can remember me two weeks from now. Sure. We got another drink, Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan? Did I, did I say something wrong? 
Not at all. I just really like the sound of that. Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Is it really that big of a deal? At work, everyone calls me Mr. Dawson or Boss. Boss is just a title. It's too impersonal. I'm cold. It is? <laughs> well, just cash. Just call that. Because you call her Boss Boss. Huh? Mr. Dawson was my father and grandfather. It's too general. But Mr. Donovan, now that's more like it. They're referring to me. To the man in front of them. Not to my family. Not to my position as boss. To me. Do you want your employees to get personal with you, Mr. Donovan? Oh, gods, no. But I want them to fear me. I want them to fear Mass Effect. <laughs> Not because I'm their boss or the name appearing in their paychecks. But rather because I strike mortal dread into them. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to make everyone call me that. Oh, yeah. You are asking something. What was it? Drink. Another one. Do you? Ah, yes, yes. Hmm. You know what? Third time's the charm. Give me a beer. Alright. Third time's the charm for what? Any hey, bad game that beer? Suddenly the music got super intense. Mix. Stop. So. One beer. Here's hope I don't pass out. Cheers. Enjoy. Say, kid, do this bar have any investors? He didn't call it a hellhole? There was some bloke named Sven that wanted to give us money if we stamped his face all over the place. Uh, but aside from that, no. These bars are pretty much like any fast food chain, so they have no local investors. Why? Just want to let you know how lucky you bastards are. Investors suck harder than my first wife's mouth. Damn. Those bastards think they are so important because they put their money in the company. Well, that's... I mean, you give me money so you can make more. Let me do my thing and I'll give you your money. Developer, are you trying to say something about game design? But no, they have to stick their nose and start changing the silliest of stuff. What good is it to be the boss if you still have to work for someone else? You still have to answer to unions, the government, and all the... In those kinds of organizations, don't you? Dude, by the end of this game, I am going to be a mess with... My tongue is going to be a mess, or I'm going to be so much better at pronunciation. <laughs> Yeah, but that's paperwork. I make somebody else do it. And call it a day. These losers ask for meetings. They start talking about stuff they don't like. Stuff they find offensive. And there's always that one guy or girl that says, Hey, why don't you do what that other newspaper does? Recently they told me that they needed more clicks. More clicks! I make sure to keep stuff spicy while still keeping production quality up. But it's never enough for them. Well, you know what? They want more clicks? I'll give them more clicks! I'll show them what happens when I do what they want and don't reject ideas. They'll know who the hell Donovan D. Dawson is! Should I be worried? Nah, 